and I work for a private forestry company out of Colville, Washington. I administer timber sales and plan silviculture projects on specific tracts of land. One of the skills I use every day is tree identification. Each tree species has different characteristics which can affect its measurement. One of the tools I use to learn tree species is the dichotomous key. The key uses a series of yes-no questions or true-false statements that are used to pinpoint the species you're viewing. The answer to the first question takes you to another question, further narrowing the options. Taxonomy is related to dichotomous keys because it's organized by common traits. This key also has a glossary of terms to help you become more familiar with botanical vocabulary. Let's get started with the tree to my left. On page six, you'll find the start here box. Below that is your first question. Does the tree bear cones and have leaves that are needle-like? Yes, go to 7D. 7D, are the needles arranged mostly in clusters of two to five and evergreen? These are pine trees. Notice the other options? These needles are in clusters. Let's move to 8A. 8A, are the needles mainly clustered in groups of two to four, the cone scales thick and often prickly? Four, are the needles mainly clustered in groups of five, the cone scales usually without prickles? We can see that these needles are in groups of three. Let's move to 8B. 8B, are the needles generally less than two inches long and in groups of one to four, the cones one to two inches long with few scales, the edible seeds large and without wings? These are pinion pines. Or are the needles generally more than two inches long and in groups of two to three, the cones longer than two inches long with many scales, the seed size varies. The needles are more than two inches long and in groups of two to three. Let's move to 10A. 10A, are the needles mainly clustered in groups of three or are the needles mainly clustered in groups of two? Or are the needles four to seven inches long clustered in groups of two to three on the same tree? If we just read the first one, we may have stopped there but we can see that description three better describes our tree. 11A, ponderosa pine. This is another example of ponderosa pine or Pinus ponderosa. Some of its characteristics are puzzle piece bark and deep fissures. Now it's your turn. Read the three descriptions and see which one best fits your leaf. If you chose 7A, you're on the right track. Read those descriptions. Which one is it? If you answered 7B, you're correct. 7B is about the stem. How are these leaves attached to their stem? If you answered 40B, you're correct. Read the descriptions and see which one best fits your leaf. Since the leaves are not fan-shaped, go to 40C. The next box describes lobes. Lobes are when a leaf edge goes in and out. Examples are oak and maple. Does this leaf have lobes? If you chose 50A, you're correct. Since fruit isn't on the tree year round, look for evidence on the ground. Entire means the leaf edges are smooth. Since these edges are toothed, let's move to 56D. The next question is about the petiole. The petiole is a leaf stalk that connects the blade to the twig. Look at the petiole. Is it flattened or is it round and able to move between your fingers? Here's a further description about the leaf. Which one does it match? You said 59A Quaking Aspen, congratulations. Tree ID is fairly simple, but it takes practice. So get outside and look at some trees.